Well, 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 welcome to the Runners Connect Run to the Top Extra Kick Extra Kick Podcast. Hey, Runners Connect fans, Coach Haley, your community manager here. Welcome to the Runners Connect Run to the Top Extra Kick Podcast. Hope you guys are having a great day and thanks so much for tuning in. I'm here to answer your running and training questions so that you can train smarter, stay healthy, and achieve your goals. We have a great question from Greg today. I'm pleased to report that I need to start carrying water on my long run. I'm very new to running and haven't given this much thought. I don't like carrying anything in my hands and it's hard to imagine wearing a backpack. Any tips or product suggestions? Hey Greg, when you need to start carrying water on a long run, it's a good sign that the distance is building, so great job. It can be confusing if you haven't had to do this before. So we can run up to around an hour before we need to start thinking about hydrating. However, of course, this is going to be sooner if it's hot or humid. Whilst there are bottles out there that are adapted for carrying by hands, I'll be the first to empathise with you. I also hate carrying things in my hands during running. You'll be pleased to know that there are plenty of other solutions. The first is a special belt that allows you to carry water around your waist. These sometimes use smaller bottles rather than one or two big ones. This allows you to distribute the weight more easily around you, which is more comfortable. You'll find plenty of these belts on the market. Good brands to look at include Nathan, Camelback and Salomon. Running with a waist belt can take some getting used to. It's important to make sure you get one that fits you well. When placing the belt around your waist, make sure it goes around your actual waist and not your hips. A belt that's too low can interfere with your running technique and feel uncomfortable. Ensure the belt fits snugly. You definitely don't want it bouncing up and down, which is distracting and uncomfortable. Tuck in any loose clothing material that may flap around and obstruct the access to your bottles. The other option to look at is a backpack. I know you say that you can't imagine carrying one of these on your run. However, they make them fairly comfortable these days, and you might be surprised. It's definitely worth trying a few on and seeing what you think. As well as the three makes I mentioned for the belt, Nathan, Camelback and Salomon. Osprey is another good make to consider for these. With a backpack, you actually drink out of a hose that comes out of the back of the backpack. The backpacks come in various sizes and capacities, so you can get one that carries what you need for your run. You'll want to get one with the right capacity. A pack that holds around two to three litres is perfect. You can always fit it less for a shorter run and you're unlikely to need more unless you start running ultras. You want the backpack to fit correctly and feel comfortable. Make sure that you can reach and operate the hose easily and check there are no areas that feel like they may chafe or cause pressure points. The backpack should fit flush to your back and not bounce up and down. When you try one on in the shop, do some different movements and run around a bit and see how it feels and how it moves with you. Most of these fat packs come with a couple of extra features which make them even more useful. They usually have a couple of pockets in which you can put some snacks, your card and phone. So if you really don't think the backpack is for you either, there is another option. That's a hydration vest. These are similar to backpacks, but some people prefer them because they're tighter and better shaped to your body. You might find them to be more stable and comfortable. The weight is more evenly distributed throughout, whilst with a backpack, it's all on your back. Some people prefer this. Most of these hydration vests have bottles to hold the water in pockets within the vest, but some do have a water bladder, like the backpack, where you drink from the hose. Whether you prefer a water bladder or a water bottle depends on your personal preference and needs. Some people find it easier to drink from a hose when they're running. It means that a hydration is hands-free and may not interfere with your technique as much. However, drinking from bottles might be more natural for some people and means that you can carry both water and an alternative electrolyte drink if you require, as they mostly have more than one bottle. I'd really encourage you to actually check out how much water you do need for your run. We do have a really cool spreadsheet that allows you to do just that. You can find it at runnersconnect.net slash hydration dash calculator. It's an Excel spreadsheet which helps you to calculate just how many ounces you need to drink on your run. That can help when making the choice for the hydration system. You can make sure you aren't carrying more than you need, which adds to the weight to the belt or backpack or vest. So regarding the backpack belt vest options, I think it's worth going into a running shop which sells them and trying on a few to see which are most comfortable. It's a pretty individual thing and you can ask for recommendations from fellow runners However, you might find you prefer something different to them. When you wear them in a shop, as I say, try moving around a bit, wearing several options, seeing how they feel and move. You might want to have more than one option, i.e. a belt and a vest anyway, 
one which carries more water. As you should see from trying out our calculator, how much water you need varies greatly from run to run. I love that question. Thanks so much for asking. For those of you listening that want to have your questions answered by one of the Runners Connect coaches, head over to runnersconnect.net slash daily and click the record button to send your question over. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't already, consider heading over to iTunes or your favourite podcast directory and subscribing or leaving a review. It'll help us to reach more runners like you. Have a great day and be sure to tune in next time.